cliff aster is also a uh, Northern Island endemic. Um, it is called, uh, scientific name is Malacothrix saxatilis variety implicata. And it's another one that has a relative on the mainland. Um, this one is fairly common, usually on cliff faces, um, up from drainages and things like that. We've actually done a fair amount of planting of this along the trail as you're coming up uh, from the pier. You'll see a lot of these in bloom along the trail right now. Very distinctive dandelion-like bloom. And again, uh, like some of the other plants that I've uh, pointed out, they are uh, in a group of the sunflower family with uh, dandelions. This one's got these really spectacular little white flowers. And when I mean little white flowers, each one of these is actually a flower. And they all come together with their reproductive structures, which are yellow, the stamens and pistils, which makes for this beautiful yellow center. Uh, the leaves and cliff aster, I won't try to describe them, I'll just try to show them to you. I guess you could say they're, they're small. Uh, and it's a beautiful plant. Not easy to confuse it really with much else. Although it is closely related to dandelions, it is a white flowered uh, plant as opposed to the yellow flowers that you'd see in, in dandelions. Okay, this is a, a kind of an overview of what cliff aster can look like. It'll form these large mounded uh, colonies and you'll often find them, as its name suggests, on cliff faces or maybe at the, uh, around cliff faces. Uh, a lot of them here in Scorpion Canyon actually grow uh, right below the, the hillsides and that kind of thing. Um, this is a good example of how this will form a, a, uh, a contiguous mounded colony. And what's really cool about it, of course, is that it blooms late. It's a late bloomer and you'll find flowers on here for um, quite a ways into the, the summer. And it's a good opportunity to show uh, visitors a endemic plant. Uh, even late into the summer.